Hello, my name is Adonis. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for all of my aquas out there. So this is an extra tons reading for all of my Aquarius out there for the month of July 2019. Without any further ado, let's jump right in, shall we? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see for all of my Aquarius out there for July 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see for all of my Aquarius out there for July 2019. Okay. All righty. All righty, 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 righty. Okay, so. <clears throat> right now, you are dealing with King of Pentacles energy. King of Pentacles. Which is an earth sign individual. <clears throat> which is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. <clears throat> an earth sign. So that's a very, and, and the king of pentacles is a very wise, down-to-earth, grounded energy. So right now, that's the type of energy that you're dealing with. You're dealing with an earth sign individual that's very wise, uh, very down-to-earth, uh, knows what they want, uh, and um, seemingly knows how to get it, pretty much. Uh, and right now, you're in a really good place, nine of cups. All your wishes are fulfilled, so things are moving in a really positive direction, moving, moving pretty splendidly <clears throat> in a pretty positive direction here. So right now, so far, so good. Um, in addition, we have the Two of Swords energy, which says, okay, things are moving pretty good. All your wishes are fulfilled, but you feel like you're at an indecision. You feel like things are moving good, things are moving positive. But it's like, you're like, hmm. Hmm. I wonder what else is out there. That's, that's, that's the energy, that's the vibe that I'm picking up here. Um, it kind of got the the four of swords here so you're you're marinating on it you're thinking about it you're like yeah things are pretty cool things are all right and you're really thinking about you know I got everything that I want and you're kind of thinking like well there just happens to be this other earth sign individual again Taurus Virgo Capricorn. <clears throat> a little bit younger. A little bit younger. Just a little bit. Um, or at least in, in 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 the behavior, the way they act, they act a little bit a little bit more a little bit more youthful than the current person that you're with. And it looks like um, for lack of a better term, it really looks like you're contemplating, you know, I wonder if I should um Seven of Swords here. I wonder if I should engage in some sneaky behavior. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's what I want to see. You, you know, you got things are pretty cool for you. You know, you got all your wishes fulfilled. It was, you know, it, it even could be here. Uh, uh, this long term commitment could possibly even be um, a marriage situation here. Or you, or you may be in a, a, a you know, is either a, some type of marriage situation uh, that you're in here, or a long-term committed relationship, where everything that you 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 want you got, and um, <clears throat> again, you know, uh, you're kind of trying to make a decision here. You're kind of resting on it. There's another situation, and you're like, you know what? I wonder if I want to kind of, um, I want to, I, I, I want if the grass is green on the other side. That's where you're at right now. That's where you. That's where you're at in your head space. I'm just, I'm not making this up. That's just. That's what I see. Let's get a little bit more clarification on the seven sources, though. 
Let's get a little bit of clarification on that. Okay, so right off the bat here, we have a Queen of Wands energy, fire sign energy, <clears throat> Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So um, you look, you're looking at this earth sign individual, contemplating it. They could possibly also be another fire sign in the mix as well uh, that you are contemplating. You know, um, you're looking at here, you know, uh, again, fire sign. People have the ability to attract to them what they want. So there's a, possibly a little bit of passion there. Um, messages are definitely being sent. Page of Pentacles. So either you're sending <clears throat> this individual, to me, either you're sending this individual uh, some messages or they're sending them to you. So there's definitely some, some messages uh, uh, being sent here for sure. Um, and we got the world card here. So, uh, if I'm completely honest, it looks like there will be some type of traveling that's going to take place. Possibly some type of um, travel that's going to take place uh, where you um, may hook up with this individual um, to see if there's any kind of passion that's there. Uh, but that definitely looks like there's going to be some type of travel that's going to take place um, with, uh, with the fire sign individual, for sure. And it looks like um, you're going to be engaging in some, some sneaky behavior here um, with this fire sign individual, possibly even an earth sign individual. So, um, <clears throat> I don't think anything else needs to be said with that. Um, I would just say be careful. That's, that's about all I can say with that. So let's see what's going on here with your ex. is dealing with a um, a sudden event, a, su a sudden change, something that has happened to them suddenly, kind of turned their life on its axis a bit. Uh, and as a result of that, um, we got the judgment card here. So, as a result of this, um, as, as a result of this sudden event here, <clears throat> uh, they're looking to reconnect, um, reconnect with, 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 with an individual. Um, yeah, they're looking to reconnect, um, reawaken some type of passion within them because this sudden event has kind of made them kind of look at their life, <clears throat> Um, in a different way. Um, we got the Knight of Swords here. <clears throat> the Knight of Swords, air sign individual, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, um, this sudden event is reconnecting, could be with an air sign individual, or it could be that this reawakening is due to due to this air sign individual. <clears throat> due to this air sign individual, that's kind of caused them to kind of reass reassess their life, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what it is. It, it, this, it, this air sign individual has caused them to reassess their, uh, their, their current situation. Uh, 
and it and 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 you know it, it it whatever happened it happened rapidly it happened rapidly it happened quickly and it was like this complete head fix like wow what's going on here and we got the we got the three of wands here and now they're just kind of like they're looking over the horizon to see what's on the horizon on the horizon for them um, this sudden event is kind of shaking them and they're kind of reassessing their life reassessing their situation and they're kind of looking over the horizon to see <clears throat> what kind of things are, are, are out there who, who, who else is out there for them we have also we have an ace of swords okay which is a removal of blockages mental clarity so this sudden event that caused them to do some or, or reawaken some some old feelings of passion um possibly was caused by this air sign individual and they got and they, they've just, just they've removed all blockages like mental clarity all of a sudden like bang out of nowhere there's like this this sense of mental clarity that that has happened with them and uh it's got them looking over the horizon for what else is out there, what else is going on out there for them. Um, and they decided to take a leap. The Fool card here. They decided to take a leap of faith. Uh, to kind of go out there and say, okay, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to take this, uh, this, 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 this crazy thing has just happened to me. Um, it kind of made them reassess their life, put things in, in perspective. <clears throat> and they decided to say, hey, listen, I'm just going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to take a leap of faith and, and see what else is out there for me, see what else is going on. So that's pretty much where you're, um, you know, that's that's the energy that your ex is giving off right now. Let's see what the chances of your ex returning are. got the high priestess here so again they're using their intuition they're you're using their intuition to kind of figure out you know if, 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 if this is the route that they want to take um, something is hidden and they're trying to figure out exactly what that thing is so they're they're in the midst of doing a, a lot of a lot of soul search and this event is called like I said it caused them to reassess their life <clears throat> we got the King of Wands here, which is a fire sign. Fire sign, energy. Um, they want to make really wise decisions when it comes to passion. They're really looking to make really wise, wise decisions when it comes to passion. Um, that really seems to be the, 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 the overall theme here. <clears throat> but making really wise decisions when it comes in terms of passion. Um, and also, you got the King of Pentacles here. That says on top of that, they want to make wise, passionate decisions that are really grounded. That are really grounded uh, decisions, wise, grounded decisions. So not only wise decisions when it comes to, in terms of doing things, when it comes in terms of making decisions, when it comes in terms of passion, but also grounded decision when it comes in terms of passion as well so that's that's pretty much <clears throat> where their headspace is and they're using their intuition to um, <clears throat> to really make this decision here um, so would you actually turn say it's, it's highly probable that they will at least give it a look to really think about you know what um, should I should I come back into this person's life again? They're they're really doing some this event that happened to them has really got them doing some really deep thinking about a lot of things here. So um, <clears throat> they're definitely going to give it. Uh, they're definitely going to give it a serious thought. I say the chances are probably eh, 70, 30, 70 percent chance that they probably will. Um, and if they don't, um, it's because they still got a couple things that they need to work out. But um, um, they got a couple things they need to work out, but it, within the next couple of months or so, they probably will be um, coming back into your orbit again, for sure. 
So, <clears throat> let's do, let's see if the spirits have any additional information that they want to say before I decide to put this thing down here. Okay, so, shift, so, first thing the spirit seems to want to tell you is that there just seems to be a shift here in your perspective, it's telling you you need to shift your perspectives of things here. There's a shift in energy here. Like you seem to be your content with the contentment that, that that you have. And it looks it feels a lot like you're you're trying to move out there and see if the grass is green on the other side or not. The spirit's saying, wait a minute, you need to shift the way that you think about things. You need to change your mindset, change the way that you're seeing things here. That's the first that's that's the first mistake that's being made here. You need to shift your consciousness and understand that, hey, listen. You know, the grass is not always greener on the other side. You need, there needs to be a shift in focus here. A shift in focus of your perspective and of your relationship and of your mindset. Spirit just kind, just kind of giving you that little heads up there. That a shift in focus needs to be done here. In addition, fortitude. Telling you, hey, keep moving forward. Keep a stiff upper back. Keep moving forward you need to be uh you need to be very uh very strong in 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 what you decided to do to keep moving forward here dig dig deep and move it forward you know the uh, fortitude there's going to be some challenges here that you're going to be dealing with but you got to be strong you got to be strong and and, and 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 really think things through and in addition here finally we have moderation moderation there definitely needs to be some moderation here with what your focus here is <clears throat> so you're going to have to learn how to balance these things whatever is causing you to maybe move away from the relationship um, maybe in terms of passion maybe in, in terms of, 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 of other things there needs to be moderation in everything in life you need you're going you need balance balance is the key here there needs to be a balance here and right now it seems like you're kind of out of balance that's why there needs to be a shift in thinking here um so again i hope this resonates with you guys if it doesn't please feel free to get a personal reading with me my name is adonis if you haven't already please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye